A San Diego sailor is on a mission to keep our homeless veterans from going cold this winter. And as our tenders reporter Amanda Brandeis explains, if he succeeds, the good deed will have a ripple effect from here to the Midwest. It's going to get really cold. I've been here for since 1988. And this is one of the coldest winters we've had. Up until a few months ago, Army veteran Myron Wiltz lived on the streets of downtown. Now he's at the Veterans Village Temporary Bridge Shelter with nearly 200 other veterans. I wanted to go to Vietnam. After talking to a Marine recruiter and a Navy recruiter, I said, nah, I'm going to, I'm going to join the Army. Wiltz wore his uniform proudly, but it's hard, he says, when it seems veterans like him have been forgotten. Veterans. We don't get the respect or the uh, backing or the financial needs that we deserve. You know, and we gave our lives for this country. It doesn't cost anything to care and it doesn't cost anything to try. Navy Chief Petty Officer Gregory Ellis says he wants homeless veterans like Wilt to know he cares. Our homeless veteran community, many of them are just very proud and they just don't want to be be a burden on anybody. And it's why the active duty anything. sailor is raising money to purchase special jackets for our veterans. That's what the jacket looks like rolled up. Made out of durable materials, the jackets convert into sleeping bags and off the shoulder bags in the off season. They're made by a Detroit nonprofit called the Empowerment Plan, which hires single parents from homeless shelters. Certainly much appreciated and I, I know our veterans will be looking forward to them. It's an effort veterans like like Wilts are thankful for. All the help that we can get as veterans would greatly be appreciated because we as veterans really need the help. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. That is a solution moving forward. Yeah, very It helps practical. a lot of people. We love that. Mm -hmm. Ellis hopes to raise $7,500 to purchase 50 jackets. If you would like to donate, we know a lot of you would, go to 10news.com, click on the red television button.